I'm going to describe how to use an interactive simulation that shows a temperature entropy diagram for water. The simulation is located here at this link, and I'm showing a snapshot. So we're plotting temperature on the y-axis and entropy, kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, on the x-axis. And then the simulation gives you the option of which lines of constant value you display so when we're displaying all of them as shown here simulation looks very complicated makes it a little harder to understand and so what we're going to do we're going to look at the simulation we can check and uncheck these boxes to show more clearly for example what a constant pressure lines look like so let's look at this simulation so here's the simulation i'm going to uncheck enthalpy and quality so now we have just isobars, and we can more clearly see behavior. For example, at constant pressure in the two-phase region, and let's look at the phase envelope to make clear saturated liquid at lower entropies and saturated vapor at higher entropies. And a critical point, of course, is the highest temperature where we can't have two phases in coexistence above that temperature. The isobars, for example, show that in the two-phase region, the constant temperature is also constant pressure. As we know from, for example, Antoine's equation, there's one temperature where we have a saturation pressure. And then in the vapor phase region, at constant pressure, as the entropy increases, the temperature increases, or as the temperature increases, entropy increases, as we know for a gas phase at constant pressure. We can, instead of pressure, look at enthalpy. This is more complicated, but shows the relation between enthalpy. And for example, if we look at this 3100, it's almost constant temperature, but the entropy is increasing. And that's because if we look at the pressure, we're decreasing the pressure. And finally, we can look at quality, constant quality lines. It's the fraction that's vapor. We can also show grid lines if we make it a little easier to read off a value. So for certain processes like a reversible adiabatic turbine, a temperature entropy diagram can give us a lot of information about the behavior of the system, and it's useful to be able to understand what this diagram represents.